What week is this being friends of our channel? 2023 is overwhelming, isn't it? We're heading towards the end of January, but the losses are being absurd and fans of the immortal band, the Yardbirds, can attest to it, as they're off to a very, very sad start. But before we continue, subscribe to the channel, and leave your like to help us bring this content to more and more people. Continuing, after the unexpected death of Jeff Beck, last January 10th, now comes the news of the death of fellow guitarist, Anthony Top Topham. Topham passed away on Monday, 23, he was 75 years old, and the cause of death has not yet been informed. Yet another case, where the cause of death is unknown. In May 1963, at just 15 years old, Topham was one of the founders of the English group The Yardbirds, which at that time was completed by Paul Samuel Smith, Chris Dreja, Jim McCarty, and the also late Keith Relf. Five months later, without recording a single album, Topham left the band and was replaced by a certain Eric Clapton. From then on, something very curious happened in the history of the Yardbirds, the volatility of the role of guitarist, which turned into a melting pot of talent, Clapton was replaced by a certain Jeff Beck, who gave way to a certain Jimmy Page who also ended up leaving the group and forming in 1968 the greatest of rock bands, Led Zeppelin. Despite not having recorded with the Yardbirds, Topham left for posterity a single that featured Clapton, entitled I Wish You Would. In addition to his music career, Topham has also worked as an interior designer and painter. We leave here our condolences to all the family and fans. Another absurd and premature death is that of Jeremy Rollman, 27 years old, photographic mannequin, who died on Sunday, January 22, 2023. The causes of death are not known, and the tragic departure left the artistic community in a state of shock. The day before he died, Jeremy Rollman published a photograph on social media, captured backstage at a photo shoot for the Tommy Hilfiger brand. It seemed like another job in the life of the American model, but the next day, Sunday, January 22, it would all be over. Designer Christian Soriano, with whom Rollman maintained a close relationship, was devastated by the young man's untimely death. He had also done editorials for publications such as GQ and Playhouse. Rest in peace, young and beautiful boy, may God receive you in a place of peace and comfort all your family. How sad it is to see a young man with a promising career, a prosperous future and loved by all, leave us so suddenly. What to say, isn't it? American jazz singer Carol Sloan, who won accolades for her sensual renditions of classic songs, emerged decades from near obscurity with a late career resurgence that brought her new recognition as one of the world's best and most amazing music stylists. World died on January 23, 2023, at an elderly care center in Stoneham, Massachusetts. She was 85 years old. The cause of death was complications from a stroke two years ago, said his stepdaughter, Sandra de Novellis. Sloan was among the last female singers to emerge from the big band jazz and swing tradition and was seen as an heir to the vocal jazz tradition of Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan and her idol, Carmen McRae. Andrew Lanes, 53, whose 21-year tenure as artistic director of the Off-Broadway Primary Stages Theatre Company, which saw the production of works by such prominent playwrights as Terence McNally, A. R. Gurney, Teresa Rebeck, Charles Bush and Donald Margulies, died in January 20, following a sudden and as yet unspecified illness. He is survived by wife Mary Bacon, son of Body Lanes, brother James Lanes, sister and Bullock and other relatives. I'm speechless friends, honestly, it saddens me a lot, having to communicate the loss of so young people, and of course, before the haters on duty say anything, I'm not happy with any death, but it hurts me when I write the script of this type, just like today. We lost young people and also very important people connected to the world of music. Is death part of life? Of course, it does and will forever and ever, but it's sad. I'll stop here. My name is Michelle, and this is the FAMOS in America channel. See you soon. See you later guys.